In this lecture, we are going to work with arrays in aggregation pipeline and we will talk about some important array operators. And in this lecture, we are also going to talk about another stage called as unwind stage. So let's go to Mongo shell. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to query the employees collection, the first document from the employees collection using the find one method. If I press enter, you will see that for an employee document along with first name, last name, gender, email, date of birth and address field, we also have this hobbies array, which is storing an array of string values. And we also have this skills array, which is storing an array of embedded documents where we have the skill name and skill level. So now what I want is we want to group all the documents of this employees collection using its country field. So we know that in this collection, we have employees from three countries, USA, UK and India. So we want to group those documents together. And what we want is we want to check from each country. What are the hobbies the employees have? OK, so for each country, what hobbies does the employees of that country has? Let's see how we can do that. So for that, let's again say DB dot the name of the collection called employees dot aggregate. And to this aggregate method, we need to pass an array in that array. First of all, I'm going to use the group stage. So for that, we can use dollar group. And here we need to assign an object there. First of all, we specify the ID and to that we assign a document. So this is how we group the documents together. The document which we are assigning to this underscore ID field there, we need to specify the field name based on which we want to group the documents. In this case, I want to group the documents based on this country field. And this country field is a field of an embedded document. And that embedded document is assigned to this address field. So first of all, let's specify a name for the field in the result. I'm going to call it as country. And to this country, we are going to assign dollar address dot country. OK, so basically here we are creating a field called country. You can call this field anything. But to this, I want to assign the value of this country field. And to access this country field, we need to access it on this address field. And since we need to wrap address dot country within double quotes here, before that, we need to use this dollar sign to tell MongoDB that here we are specifying a field name and not any string value. OK, so this is the first field which we want in the grouped result. OK. Then what I also want is I want to have another field called all employee hobbies. So I'll call it as all EMP hobbies. And this field is going to store an array. And in that array, we want to store all the hobbies array of each of the employees belonging to that country. So to this, I'm going to assign an object. And in order to assign the arrays of each document to this all employee hobbies, so for example, this first employee has this hobbies array. So we want to push this hobbies array to this all employee hobbies of country USA. OK, so this array should be pushed to all employee hobbies of country USA. For that, here I'm going to use dollar push. And which field do we want to push here? We can specify that in the string and here we can say dollar hobbies. This is the field which we want to push in this all employee hobbies array. So this all employee hobbies, it is going to be an array inside which the hobbies field, the value of the hobbies field will be pushed for a given country. Let me go ahead and let me run this command. So if I copy this, let's paste it here. And if I run this command, you will see that in the result, we have two fields. We have the country field. In this case, the country is USA. And for that, we have this all employees array in which from that USA country, whichever employee we have, their hobbies has been pushed here, as you can see. So from USA, we have 
these many employees and their hobbies has been pushed to the all employee hobbies of country USA. In the same way, from UK, these many employees we have and their hobbies has been pushed in the all employee hobbies of this country UK. Same is for India. Now here what we want is instead of having the array elements, instead of having embedded arrays in this all hobbies array, we want to have individual values. Instead of having embedded arrays, from those embedded arrays, we want to fetch all the values and that we want as an element of this all employee hobbies array. How we can do that? For that, we can use unwind stage. Now, before we use unwind stage for this use case, let's first understand what does unwind stage do. Let me clear the shell here and let's go ahead and let's talk about the unwind stage. So again, I'll say db dot employees dot aggregate to this we are going to pass an array in that array i am going to use the unwind stage and for that we can say dollar unwind and to this we assign an array field name based on which we want to unwind the documents in this case i am going to specify the hobbies array so here i can say dollar hobbies and before I run this command, let me again go ahead and let me query the first document from the collection. You will see for the first document, the name is John Doe. And for this user, he has three hobbies, reading, coding, and gaming. Okay. Now let me go ahead and let me execute this command. If I press enter, it has returned us these many documents. Now let's go to the first document. Okay, so here we have first document. Here we have executed the query. So here we have the first document. In here you will see that the first name is John Doe. And there the hobbies is reading. So here we have only one element. Here we don't have an array. Here we have a single value called reading in the first document. Then in the second document again you will see that the name is John Doe. So it is the same document. All the values are same except the hobbies. Now here we have hobbies as coding and in the third document also you will see that the name is John Doe all other values are same only thing which is changing here is hobbies here the hobbies is gaming so earlier when we saw that document before unwinding it there you can see that the hobbies are reading coding and gaming so what this unwind stage has done is based on this hobbies array since it has three elements, it has created three documents for this same document. And in those three documents, all the values are same. So these are those three documents. Here, all the values are same except the hobbies. Hobbies is different. So from the hobbies array, each hobbies has been extracted. And for that hobby, a new document has been created. And there, the hobby field is set with that value. Same is true for second and third element. And this has happened for all the documents. So if in our collection we have 30 documents and for each document we have three hobbies, that means this unwind has returned us 90 documents in the result. Okay, so what does unwind stage do? It basically flattens the array by repeating the documents which was storing that array. And it does it for each element of that array. And as you can see, unwind is completely opposite of group stage. The group stage, what it does is, it group together multiple documents into one. On the other hand, the unwind stage splits a single document into multiple documents. So unwind is completely opposite of this group stage. And now if we go ahead and if we use this unwind stage before this group stage in this aggregation pipeline, it will return us multiple documents. It is going to return us documents like this, where we will only have one hobby. Right, here you can see we have only one hobby for each document. So now when this group stage will be called on the result of this unwind stage, there it is going to push hobbies the value of the hobbies field 
and in this case each hobbies field has only one value it is not an array it is a string value so those string values will be pushed in the all employee hobbies let's see that so here before this group stage i have used this unwind stage let me copy this let's clear the shell and let's paste that command and now if i go ahead and if i press enter now you will see that the all employee hobbies it is not storing an embedded array as its elements instead it is storing string values as its elements and there you will see that we also have some duplicate values for example here we have coding and here also we have coding and that's because it has simply pushed the hobbies from the documents which this unwind stage returned and it did not check for duplicate values now if you want to omit duplicate values if you don't want to have duplicate values in this array in that case instead of push you can use add to set we have learned about this add to set operator before and what it does is it basically omits the duplicate values so when it will try to insert a new value in this all employee hobbies array and if that value is already present in that array it will not insert it okay it will only insert unique values in this array so let me copy this query now let's clear the shell here let's go ahead and let's paste that query and now we should have unique hobby items in the all employee hobbies array if i press enter now you will see that now we don't have duplicate values you will not find any duplicate values inside this all employee hobbies same is true for the all employee hobbies of country uk and all employee hobbies of country india so when you want to omit duplicate values in an array field you can use add to set but if duplicate values are okay you can use push operator and i hope you also understood the use of this unwind operator it basically flattens the document into multiple documents based on a given array field all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day